Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem using the method of variation of parameters. The question is d square minus 1 into y equal to other side 2 by 1 plus theta x. Now, we have to write the auxiliary equation which is m square minus 1 equal to 0. So, from this m square is equal to 1 and m is equal to plus or minus 1. So, we get two values for m. One is 1 and other is minus 1. So, using this, we can write the complementary function c1 e power m1x. I will take first value as 1 plus c2 e power m2x. I will take the second value minus x. So, comparing this with the general form of the complementary function which is c1 f1 plus c2 f2 we get f1 equal to e power x and f2 equal to e power minus x. Now particular integral formula is p f1 plus q f2. For finding p we have to use minus integral f2 into x dx by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2 and for finding q we have to use f1 into x dx by f1 into f2 dash minus f1 dash into f2. Since both the denominators are same before finding p and q let's find the value of this denominator term which is f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. So here it is e power x into e power minus x whole dash minus e power x whole dash into e power minus x. So e power x and this derivative is e power minus x into minus 1. Then this derivative as it is and last term as it is. When I multiply when the bases are same, we will add the power. This is e power 0 into minus 1 minus e power 0. e power 0 is 1. So, first term is minus 1, second term is minus 1. We get minus 2. So, totally we got the denominator. Now, coming to the calculation of p, which is minus integral f2 into x dx whole divided by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. So, here minus integral e power minus x and x is nothing but the function person on the right side 2 by 1 plus e power x. So, 2 by 1 plus e power x into dx whole divided by minus 2. You can cancel these two minus and these two 2. So, finally we left with integral e power minus x by 1 plus e power x dx. Let's bring this to the denominator 1 by e power x and denominator we also have 1 plus e power x. Now let's rearrange this using the partial fraction. So this will become 1 by e power x minus 1 by e power x plus 1. If I take LCM, I will get back the previous term. So, this can also be written as by taking some substitution and using the partial fraction rule. After that, finding A and B, we get the final expression. Now, we have to integrate this. This first term is e power minus x dx. And second term dx by e power x plus 1. And first term, anyway, it is e power minus x by minus 1. We keep the minus sign here. Second term, we have to do some rearrangement for integration. We have to write this as 1 by e power minus x plus 1. Then we have to take LCM. So, first term minus e power minus x. And by taking LCM, LCM will be e power minus x into dx. That will become the numerator. And here it is 1 plus e power minus x. By taking t equal to 1 plus e power minus x, the denominator, we get dts e power minus x into minus 1 and this minus will carry here 
So numerator is nothing but minus dt and denominator is t and first term we have minus e power minus x. We can cancel this it will become plus and now the first term is minus e power minus x plus log t and t is nothing but 1 plus e power minus x. Now coming to q once again we use a formula f1 into x dx by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2 and now f1 is e power x and this is 2 by 1 plus e power x divided by minus 2 into dx. So we can cancel these two and there is a minus sign outside by taking denominator as t. So t is equal to 1 plus e power x we get dt equal to e power x dx. So which is integral dt by d form and log t. So minus log of denominator 1 plus e power x. We form p and q. Now particular integral is p into f1 plus q into f2. So p what we got here is minus e power minus x. So we will see the term here minus e power minus x plus log of 1 plus e power minus x plus log into 1 plus e power minus x whole bracket into e power x plus q is minus log of 1 plus e power x into e power minus x. When I multiply e power x here the first term will become minus 1 because by adding the power e power 0 which is 1 and there is a minus sign then plus e power x into log of 1 plus e power minus x and the last term is minus e power minus x into log of 1 plus e power x. Now the complete solution y is equal to cf plus pi and y equal to cf is c1 e power x plus c2 e power minus x and pi is minus 1 plus e power x into log of 1 plus e power minus x then minus e power minus x into log of 1 plus e power x.